Hey everybody, Mr. Mello here. Sorry that I could not be with you today, but that doesn't mean that we can't do some art together. Okay, so before we get going on our art project today, I got one question for you. Do you know what this is that I have here? It's a map, okay? And what a map does is it tells you where to go if you want to find something. Now, right now, I specifically have a map of India. Why is it of India? I have no clue, don't ask me. Uh, but um, it was just a quick little example for me to show you. So uh, in India, if you wanted to find certain areas, uh, find out where the in Indian Ocean uh, is, this map would be helpful. Okay, what we are going to, to, to do today and why I have this over here is we are going to create our own map. Now, before technology, you might not and I'm not quite sure that you will you will personally ever use a map that's on a paper. Now we have obviously uh, computers, the internet, these little handy things called phones. I mean, I could probably literally go, um, hey Siri, give me directions to the White House, which is where the President of the United States lives. She would give me directions to the White House. Okay. Apparently, it's going to take me 17 hours, and it's about 1,200 miles away from where I'm at. So now, uh, we used to use maps when we were out on road trips or something like that. There was something called an atlas where it would give you maps of all the cities, all the the states, all the roads and everything. Now we have these little handy things here that I can obviously just ask it wherever I want to go and it gives me directions to go. What we are going to do today is we are going to create a map of something very close to you, something very special, something that you should be an expert on and that is your neighborhood. Okay, how are we going to create that? We're going to kind of go uh, step by step. Now, I am going to go a little bit fast only because Remember, you can pause the video. You can fast forward the video. Blah, 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 or you can blah, 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 rewind the video if you need to. Okay, so if I go too fast, if I went too fast on a step, skirt, just pause and we keep going. What you're going to need is you're going to need a piece of paper. We're always going to start with blam pencil. I'm going to do mine with a sharpie so that you can see the lines correctly of what I am doing but you should always start a pencil because if you mess up you can erase a pencil you can't erase a sharpie so hopefully I don't mess up uh, and at the end you're going to need some type of coloring device so whether it be color pencils crayons markers whatever your preference is uh, if you don't have a coloring uh, tool then you can always just color in with pencil you know by making dark marks and lighter marks and things like that to make different grays and whites and things like that okay so get your stuff pause the video get your stuff i'm gonna keep going okay all right catch a piece of paper before we start making a map we're gonna practice how to make some things that might be around your neighborhood okay uh so one obvious thing that you're gonna have to learn how to draw is your house now, depending on how your house is, it could be one story. That means there's only one floor. That means there are no stairs up and down. It could be two stories. That means there is another floor or there's there are stairs that go up to a different level in your house. That's two stories. It could be three stories. Maybe you go up three times uh, or you have a basement, but obviously we wouldn't be able to see the basement from the outside. We're only going to create a map of your neighborhood from the outside. Like if somebody was looking from way up above in the sky, and checking out, hey, where is your house, Mr. Mello's house, somebody else's house? So, um, obviously, if you're looking from up above down, you would only see a whole bunch of roofs. So, we're going to pretend that that's not the case. We're going to pretend that all of our houses are laying on the side of the road and we can see the front of it. And I'll show you what I mean. Um, so, a house. Simple thing for you to do is just create a square. Or a rectangle depending on how big you want to make your house let me switch sharpies here Ta -da -da. so let's just make a square 
right? A square is four equal sides, as straight as possible. If you want to use a ruler for this, you can if you have one available, otherwise you don't have to. Okay, so there's a square that would be the main part of my house, and I gotta give it a roof. Roofs are usually like a little triangle at the top. But if you notice that houses, sometimes they kind of go out uh, just because the roof is that it's made that way or there are gutters on the side. So if you want to make the roof have it sticking out a little bit more than your square, you certainly can to make it look a little bit more realistic, meaning it looks real. It looks like an actual house. OK, and then obviously after that, you just add details. Do you have a door? Most houses have a door, right? Let's switch this over a little bit. Oop, hey, how are you? Most houses have a door, right? So a door is usually in the shape of a rectangle. Give it a little doorknob there as a dot. If you have windows, you can add some windows. Okay, they could be square. They could be circle, I'm sorry. They could be square windows. Okay, they could be both. You could have a window right up at the top, right there in that second floor. Okay, so that would be maybe like a like a one floor house with like an attic or something like that. An attic is like a, um, a, a, a space above your house that you may just store things in. If you have a two-story house, you can either make a really tall building, like a rectangle right there, and then you can add your door, some windows if you have some windows, um, some more windows because it would be in the second story house, right? So obviously we can't see in your house, but somewhere in there is a set of stairs that goes up to the second um, to the second floor. And obviously we would also want to give it a roof, a roof. The roof is on fire. And maybe that has a little window as well. Or they could also, you could also put a square here in a rectangle right next to it which actually is kind of sort of what my house looks like a little bit if you look at it from the front. And it's got a couple of roofs here. So if you had a pencil, unlike me, I would erase that line right there after I got done. And there's another roof like that. And maybe you have your main door here. And maybe your main building has like a door, a window there, I'm sorry. And then this one also, there's a window over here. And maybe there's a window right over here. Something like that. So there are different types of houses, just a one story, two story, two story, but with different little buildings that look like that. Okay. What else might you have? Might you need for a map of your neighborhood? Roads? You probably have a road, right? So if you have a curvy road, all you have to do is do a curvy line. And then another one right next to it that does the exact same thing, just like that, right? And the roads, you see those lines that keep the cars on each side of the road just like that you may have something like that if it's a straight road okay then you simply just make two straight lines right next to each other just like that boom shakalak okay uh maybe you have a stop sign right a stop sign and make it like that two lines here on the side and then the word Stop right there in the middle of it. Maybe you have trees around your house. Okay. You would do to make up like a, a tree, you would make the trunk first, or usually is what I like to make first is the trunk. Two lines just like this going next to each other, but a little bit of space in between. And then just making little curvy lines, giving the top of the tree. Just like that. So if you have a whole bunch of trees around your neighborhood, maybe you want to draw a whole bunch of those. What else might you have around your neighborhood? You may have bushes. If you want to just make bushes or something like that, instead of a big tree, I would just do like the top of the tree that we just made there. Okay. Stop signs. Traffic lights. If you have a traffic light right next to your house, hopefully you don't, because that probably means that there's a lot of traffic around there, but that happens. Uh, you may just have to do make a traffic line, a uh, traffic light. So we have different lights, traffic lights, right? Green means go. Yellow means go faster. Just kidding. It means yield. It means slow down because it's about to turn red. And red means stop, right? 
and then usually they're covered by something that looks kind of like a rectangle around there so you can make a you can make a stop sign or a stop light that way stop sign stop light what else might you have around your neighborhood if you want to make like a park or something like that obviously you would make like little things that look like a park uh, maybe over here if you make a swing set maybe you do something like this almost like a rectangle but these little lines go out to the side and then I would make a rectangle or a couple of rectangles hanging out from that top line to make it look like a little swing set, just like that. So really the basics are buildings, right? Like your houses, roads, there might be some trees, there might be some stop signs, right? There might be a stop light or two. If maybe there are, there's a big building, the way I would make a big building is just making either a big square or a big rectangle, right? giving it a door, I almost said window, maybe giving it some different windows. If it's got different windows, you're gonna have to like really maybe even put your thinking cap on and remember what's around your neighborhood, how many houses are around your neighborhood, which one's taller, which one's shorter, which one's, you know, bigger, wider. Um, so you may have to do that. But so all of these things, you're gonna make into a map. Now, how would I make a map? I would like to start, or I typically like to start with the roads that are in my neighborhood. And I'm gonna show you the map that I made about my neighborhood. Now it's not exactly, but it's pretty close. Okay. Yep. Now this is what I made. Okay. And if you take a look at it here, my house is right here. Okay. And I made my house, I'm gonna make it this way so you can see it. I make my made my house one of those two story houses. It's got a little porch in the in the front. I made a road. So here are my roads here that I made. Made a road here that goes all the way across this way. And this way. Here's my road. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna tell you what this little road is right here. There are the lines that keep the cars on each side of the street so they don't crash into each other. So there's the roads that I made there because there's a main road and there are some other roads that go around my neighborhood. There's my house. I try to make it as as close as possible as to what I remember that it looks like. There are some other houses that are obviously next to me. There are some houses in front of me. There are some houses that go over that way. Okay. Uh, there's a, there's a four-way stop sign or a four-way stop at this corner, which means that there are four different stops or there's a four at all of the, each of the roads, each of the corners, uh, totaling one, two, three, four, which is why they call it a four-way. Uh, and right over here, what this little road is, it's actually there is an elementary school that is pretty close to my house. I can actually see it from my front porch. I can see the front door of the elementary school. Which one is it? I ain't telling you. Okay. Uh, and this little road is what goes into the into the school. And there's a parking lot. I made a parking lot right there. There's some other houses in front of the school as well. So, <clears throat> excuse me. The next step after this would be to color it in. You know, my house is a greenhouse with brown roof. Uh, the one next to me, I think it's like a light brown house with a black roof. And then there's another one with a cute little... Um, light blue color that is next to that uh, with a brown roof, I believe. So I would start coloring that in. Now, this is what I meant by making the houses look like they're kind of squished up on the floor. Obviously, if we're looking from up above, if you were to be flying in a uh, helicopter or an airplane and looking down into my neighborhood, you would see a whole bunch of roofs. That's all you would see. You wouldn't see the front. But we're going to take a little bit of an uh, artistic liberty, if you will, is what it's called when you kind of make it something a little bit more artistic because you want it to look a little bit different than real than it would normally. So we're going to make our houses facing boop, facing up like this. After you get all that done, then you start to color it in. But again, you're going to really have to think and be like, okay, how many houses are on my side of the street? Do I have neighbors? Do I don't have, do I not have neighbors? What's around me? Is there, are there any schools? Are there any grocery stores? Is this a gas, is there a gas station? 
if you were to give somebody directions so you wanted them to look at and be like, oh, that's a really cool neighborhood. If I take a left here, I would go to your house. Um, you know, how many details could you do to get to your house to make a map of your neighborhood? All right. Again, remember, you could have always stopped this uh, video, go back, rewind, fast forward, um, do whatever you want with it. And I hope to see you soon. See ya.